In Windows Server 2016, it's possible to turn your server into a router. We need to make sure we have at least two network cards. So you can go down to your network and sharing center by right clicking on the little network icon and going to change adapter settings and make sure you see at least two network cards. Now the first network card we're going to name LAN because it's on the inside of our network. And the second network card we're going to call it WAN because it's going to the outside of our network to another subnet. So the LAN network has to be on the same subnet as your current computers. So that means that all of your computers that connect to this on the inside need to start with 192.168.15. Now the, uh, the last address is the host address, so that all has to be different. Everybody has to have a different host address. All right, so that part is done. Now on the WAN side, we can go in and we can either leave it as DHCP and let our router give it an IP address, or we can put in a completely different subnet altogether, just depending on how your network is set up. So we'll call this one .17.20, just as a random number. And then we'll need to have our gateway on the same subnet. So that means you have to have a router at 17.1 or whatever IP address you decide. We don't need to set in the DNS since it's the outside address and we're getting all of our DNS from our DHCP server. All right, so go ahead and click yes on multiple default gateways and then go back to our LAN address and we'll take that gateway off. We don't want to have two gateways, otherwise it gets confused as to where it should go. So the inside address should have, the LAN address should have no gateway, and the outside should have the gateway. Or again, you could leave it as DHCP. All right, so that part's done. We have our routing set up for the network side. Let's go ahead and click on Add Roles and Features. And this part goes pretty quickly, so we're just going to go to Next. And then we're going to make sure we have our server selected and then we're going to choose remote access. And then we'll click next. And next on features is we don't need any features. All right, so now we need to stop here. So we need to make sure that we choose routing as our role service. Go ahead and click add features. And we see it automatically checks the boxes for direct access and VPN. That's okay, just leave them there. Go ahead and click next. And then We'll go ahead and leave these defaults because it's going to automatically put in IIS for us for a web server. Even though we may not be hosting a web server, it just automatically does that. This part could take anywhere from a minute to 10 minutes, depending on how slow or how fast your server is. We'll just go ahead and fast forward to the end. Our router installation is complete. We'll go ahead and click Close. And now we'll go to Tools. And we'll go to Routing and Remote Access. We see that our server's installation is there, but it hasn't started yet. Let's go ahead and right click on it and choose Configure and Enable. And a wizard pops up. And from here, we're going to go to Custom Configuration. Click Next and choose LAN Routing. Next again and Finish. A box now pops up asking us to start the service. Go ahead and choose to start it. And now it's running. So what does this all mean? Well, what it means is that anybody who is on the 192.168.15 subnet, which is everybody on your LAN side, will now be able to go out to the, either the internet or another subnet in another location if you have multiple subnets in your same location and it will be able to transfer data back and forth. Now there's a firewall on here that will keep people from gaining access to uh, the inside of your network, so that will protect you. So it's not just a router, it's also a firewall to protect you from the outside world. And this will allow you to uh, have a lot of flexibility without having to go out and buy a firewall and a router because it's built right in to Windows at no additional charge. You can also add additional network interfaces and you can route to other subnets as well. So it doesn't have to be just these two networks. So that's how you set up a router in Windows Server 2016.